eating the right things in your diet, you're going to plump your skin, help lines, make you look younger. How's that sound? And that's, that's right. Good. And we know antioxidants are fabulous for your skin. And we know spinach is chock, chock full of antioxidants. I love spinach for that and iron and other things. But did you know to get the right daily allowance, you would need like three, three big servings of spinach. Instead of three servings of spinach, that you could have this, only a half a teaspoon of oregano is going to equal all of this. And I love my seasonings and food. So ladies, start using seasoning. Men too, start using more seasoning. Because this can equal this. You can sprinkle it on your salad, on your chicken, on other foods, and get all those antioxidants in a half a teaspoon. We all know that salmon and the omega-3s that are in there are so good for all parts of your body, aging, your brain, your skin especially, but you, to get the same amount of antioxidants or omega-3s that are in this one pound of salmon, you could eat just one quarter cup of flax seeds. You can grind them up, sprinkle them on, sprinkle them on a salad, on cereal. I put them into my uh, pancake mix all the time or waffle mix, so you can do a lot with, with, with flax seeds. All right. It's awesome. And we're not done yet. Vitamin A is so important. A lot of those creams that we yeah. use on our face, right, Dr. Lisa, are loaded with vitamin A. What is a great source of vitamin A? Bananas. But guess what? To give yourself the same amount of vitamin A in your diet, a half a cup of sweet potatoes is the equivalent of eating 128 bananas. <laughs> Really? Jim started wow, eating. Okay. That's that's a lot of bananas. So that just shows that the sweet potatoes are such a great source of vitamin A and vitamin C. Again, mm -hmm. vitamin C we find in a lot of skin skin creams too. Yeah. But this is hydrating you from the inside. Can I just maybe mm -hmm. dip in there? <laughs> oh. Now then, that's a good idea. Yeah. How's that taste? That's sweet potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Leave that's it to Jimbo. Cool. All right, what's next? Another way to firm up your skin, you need copper. What's a great source of copper? Carrots. There you go. And you love your carrots. Mm -hmm. But for a quick boost of copper, better yet, a pack of raisins gives you the same amount of copper as three carrots. So give that a try. So our last one is selenium. Drew, why is selenium so important? So important the metabolism of elastin. That's the protein that keeps our skin tight, taut, keeps you lifted up like that. Mm -hmm. And Tuna, great source of selenium. In fact, three ounces provides 95% of the recommended daily amount. But what if I told you an ounce of Brazil nuts provides eight times that amount of selenium? So if you think there about you that, go. wow, that's basically one Brazil one nut. One nut is the same. Count me Look in at my selenium. skin. It's glowing. It's glowing. You know, it, glowing it just goes to show these nuts and yet. these seeds. Yeah. There's a trend here just loaded with good stuff. I like it. Wonderful, add it to all your meals. You have glowing skin, and you know what? Put it all in a blender, and it's good for your heart, too. <laughs> That's Big right. Salmon, banana smoothie.